Here are three specific exercises or ways to upgrade your consciousness right now. Number one, reaction versus creation consciousness. This is an extremely powerful epiphany or understanding. You're either going to be a reactive being that basically only reacts and is like a robot, reacting to the stimuli and the programming and the orders you get from the outside and from entities and spirits, both human and not, that don't care about your free will and just want to wreck you and control you. Because that's what they're into. That's what they decided to be their destiny. Do, now, so this is, this is so heavy. Do you want to be a reactive spirit or a creative spirit? Do you have a reaction spirit or do you have a creation spirit? Are you a reaction or creation consciousness? Is your consciousness reactive, a slave consciousness, or is it creative, a God consciousness, connected to God, fulfilling God's plan? And that really shouldn't be any choice, should it? When you really think about that. Don't be what they tell you to be. Don't be what the system you know is corrupt and bad tells you to be. Go with your innate programming that God gave you and with the free will you have to take that destiny in your hands. Number two, does your thinking create reality? Think about that. Does your thinking create reality or does reality control your thinking? It's the same thing but from another angle. Does your thinking create reality? Are, are, are you thinking about the world? Are you living a life where you're in charge, where you're directing your destiny? Or does the system and its programming control your thinking? That's, again, very, very simple. Are you a free, sentient creature? Or are you a slave? It's up to you. If you decide to be programmed by this slave master, it will do it. It will take you down with it because it's a slave as well. Or... Are you transcending by being a creator? Then you realize life and creation goes on beyond you. Even if you're afraid that when you die, your energy dissipates and isn't organized and controlled anymore, it's going to come back together even more powerful if it resonates upwards. And again, that's a simple human third-dimensional understanding, but into the more complex, into the more advanced. The Bible says the eye has not seen, the ear has not heard, but God has in store for those of us that are faithful and those of us that choose to resonate with that energy. That is such a beautiful thing. I choose creation, not death. I choose being informed and connected to the universe and caring and having feelings and not walling myself off. I don't want to be my own little God in hell. I want to be connected to the universe and to all that God has created. And I ask God to come into me and to have that transformation take place. And you will see it happen in your life. Number three, Suspend your disbelief. They want you to go suspend your disbelief for a movie or for uh, some horror garbage on television so your subconscious is being bombarded and building this new thing that isn't you. But suspend your disbelief and believe in God. Believe in beauty. Believe in creation. Believe in your great mission. Believe you're a spiritual energy being. What you are, the science shows. Suspend your disbelief and start testing the power of your consciousness on your reality and see how incredible it is because it works at so many levels and then find out how powerful you really are these are just simple notes right here but they're absolutely totally and completely true and i want to just be so clear about this right now i've known this since i was a little child but i thought everyone had the same consciousness that i had and so I thought if I just told people what was going on, like a child pulling on mom's dress, that they would know what to do and that the leaders would know what to do and that, and that if we just exposed all this, that other people would handle it. But the truth is that's not how this works. You can't just trust the experts or the adults in the room, even when you're a child, to do the right thing. For the Bible says out of the mouths of babes. That's why over in Australia where the police were beating people with billy clubs for daring to be outside at the park, their own police dogs, in not just one case, but others, are starting to turn and attack the police. I'm not saying attack the police is good. I'm saying out of the uh, mouths of babes, out of the mouths of dogs. It, it's just an innate, energetic thing that is happening that we can't just sit there and warn people and tell people about the bad. We have to lead by example. We have to do it ourselves. And we have to learn to say no to evil and no to corruption and just... Simply understand that that energetic decision is recognized throughout all the dimensions in the entire universe 
and as a metaphysical rule, and that that is the coin of the realm, is your free will being put into action.